well, man, it's gonna be the ultimate slide out of all slide outs coming out of an Overland Jeep pickup, whatever you wanna call it. Some big changes. Some big changes, finally. I feel so much better just about everything. Okay, let's back up. I just did a post on actually YouTube and my Instagram pretty much stating the last six months have been crazy for me because I sold my van in July and then I bought this Jeep that I'm in now in August and then was looking for land uh, in the process of, during the process of selling my Jeep, I was gonna build something, I was gonna do this, I was gonna do that. And everybody on this platform kind of on my case and not everybody, I should take that back. There was a lot of people that were like, I thought you were doing this, I thought you were doing that. Listen, we are in a society right now that wants everything tomorrow or wants everything yesterday, somebody actually commented and, and said that, and I, I love that statement. And a person that I felt very, uh, or Jeep drive by, you know, you wave to each other. I'm a person that just, I'm easily persuaded, and I felt very forced doing things the last six months that I did not want to do. And it was not by anybody in particular. It wasn't any individual, it wasn't a group of people, it was, I only blame myself for that one, guys. So with all that being said, I was in a weird and unusual place up in Portland. I decided to leave. Probably one of the best decisions I've made of recent that I feel like. My mental capacity is just, it feels a heck of a lot better. With all that said, I got a place. I did not buy, I'm renting. And there's a reason why I'm renting. A lot of you are like, why didn't you go buy? First off, people in my situation that are self-employed, that have to prove income, and although we can prove income, banks don't like self-employment. They're just plain and simple. I, I've talked about it in many videos, um, but it's just, it is what it is, and there's no, there's nothing you can do about it. They just don't like self-employment people. So anybody that is watching this, it is self-employed, they totally understand where I'm coming from. If you're a W-2 employee, you can probably get a home loan or a land loan or whatever kind of loan you're looking for like that. So people like in my situation, it's not that easy. With that, I am saying uh, I am going to be hopefully going to be purchasing land cash, but that won't be for some time. So everybody that's like, I thought you were doing this. I am doing it. It's just going to take some time. Oh my God. Everything I've ever sought out and I've ever wanted to do is happening for me. It's just not going to happen in the time frame that everybody thinks it's going to happen, which is tomorrow or next week or the month after, whatever it is. I wanted to do a van. It took me six months of research, three months of building. I sold that after two years. I wanted to do another van. I spent another three months of research and then another three months of building. Guys, that takes time. It's not like, like anybody. Patience. Ah, camera fell. Camera fell. All right, I'm gonna go get some coffee. Can you believe I'm not even caffeinated yet and I'm actually just ranting right now? All right, I'm gonna drink my coffee right now, but check this out. If you guys haven't had a shot in the dark, they are so good. Um, I love iced coffee. I don't drink hot coffee, which is weird, but whatever. Shot in the dark is two shots of espresso or however many shots of espresso you want inside coffee. Ha <laughs> ha. It's so good. So since leaving Portland, I've actually been hanging out at my buddy Dave's shop. He started a van building company, I would say a few months ago. That was fantastic work. Very, very fortunate that I have somebody like him in my life. I, I have a lot of great people in my life. Took me in when I was, you know, I guess homeless. You know, shout out to Mark. He did the same things. I guess my point is, is um, back in July when I sold my van, I had like a, like a sense of like homelessness. -ness? Saying that correctly? Homelessness? I didn't, I or a sense of loss, or I've been in a van for over three years at that point. Like, I, I forgot what, like, a stable life felt like. So, and I want to do a full video on this of, like, going into van life, living van life, and getting out of van life. I think that's something that a lot of people don't really touch on. And if you just do one trip, that's one thing. If you do, like, a summertime trip, that's, you know a couple months in a van, that, that's one thing, that's fine. But I'm talking somebody that lives full-time out of a van for years, whether it's a year, two years, four years, 10 years, whatever it is, after you're done with it and you go back to a quote unquote stable life, there is definitely some sort of sense of loss. There's analogies that I can give, but I don't really want to only because it's taking away from those other people that, that go through that. It's like, um, comes down to routines. It comes down to so many different things. I, I had trouble since July until now, really figuring that out. Goes back to what I was saying before about the, the forcing. I was forcing my life back in Portland. I wasn't happy. I now rented a spot, which I'm really happy about because I have plans 
for a year from now. And I think in a year from now, I'll, I'll be where I want to be financially and I'll be more educated in things that I want to educate myself in, which is having like a like a community place that I call a community or, or whatever. But, and I've talked about it before, it's going to be called Ghost Town. It's going to have van parking and a couple, um, three at the most, tiny homes. One will be occupied by me and a shop. Right now, I am focused on getting into my new place, doing the things that I love to do, do, which is bringing content, great content, brings me to what I'm about to say next. I'm building a YouTube studio in one of the bedrooms. It's a small bedroom, it's more like an office, but I'm going to be building a nice, beautiful studio. It will have lighting, we'll have nice backdrops, we'll have acoustics that'll, that'll sound better. It'll have all of these things that I can give very good videos and content to everybody out there. So I'm really up in my game. Recently hit 100,000 on, on YouTube and I feel like I wanna bring you guys better content, more informational content, educational things. And then I also wanna do my tours. I still love to do my tours and I love doing that kind of stuff. I really wanna build a, a YouTube studio. Finally, I've been talking about this a long time, been wanting to get back into woodworking. Where did that go? Very gonna be much involved in woodworking. I am this close to being an ambassador for an epoxy company. I am going to be hopeful an ambassador for a really cool epoxy company. Once I test out the product and I like it, I will be an ambassador for them, which means I'm going to be using their product very often. But let's finish off the video with some cool stuff. I'm going to go bring the coffee into Dave because I brought him a coffee just now. He's actually been playing around with um, some extruded aluminum, also known as 8020 aluminum. And I'll kind of go over some some things about 8020 that you guys may not understand of what the difficulty is. And all right, it turns out that uh, Dave is actually quite busy in his shop right now. So we're not going to go over there. Type of individual that is very particular about showing his shop on camera, which obviously I fully respect. Uh, wanting his shop in tip top shape, things like that. And he's kind of in the zone right now. He's been, he's working on a couple vans, kind of re-engineering a wheel here. <laughs> no, but he's actually working on some stuff that I've actually haven't seen in a van yet. Excited to see him get it done and and work on some some really cool things and some up and coming bands that he's got going on. So obviously you guys will see that as well. What I was talking about with the 8020 is I actually went over there and grabbed well, a piece of 8020 that's in my hand right now. We're gonna talk about it here in a second. Just another shout out to Dave though. This is my temporary office that he let me use uh, for the six week intern from Portland to where I am now, which is, uh, is pretty cool. So thank you to him. I appreciate you. And also a shout out to uh, Rock Rooster, which are these guys that have uh, my boots. They actually sent me a pair of these boots because I needed some boots for a shop space. I didn't want to use sneakers and I didn't want to use like my hiking shoe from like REI because it's nice. This is like a steel toe boot that's a slip on. Super comfortable. I actually was not sold by them, but I've been beating the bag out of these things for six weeks. They have stood the test of time. There's been so much going on, but I think I have a link for Rock Rooster footwear down in my description. Uh, it should be in my email somewhere, but if it is, if, it, if I can find it, I, which I should be able to, there should be a link in the description below for that because I actually really like these. I didn't think I was going to, and they're super comfortable. The soles are really nice, so I shout out to them. Anyways, this is what I'm talking about with the 8020 though. The 8020, um, and I showed this kind of before in another video, but this 8020, this is a design that I have and I'm using, uh, I'm using SketchUp. Uh, this is still the free version. I have yet to buy the, the, the paid version because I'm kind of waiting on a client. I'm designing their van for them. So anyways, this is a really, really annoying part to the 8020 because these dimensions aren't correct here. This is more along the lines of me just figuring out the framing, which is this stuff right here. Oddly enough, I'm actually doing a uh, tour is coming out in a couple days with this guy, Matt. Uh, and his wife Amanda, but Amanda's not in the video. This is part two of their video, but they use all 8020 for their framing and everything in their van. Now, the funny thing about Matt is he is like an engineer by trade. So he thinks like an engineer. He's like, thinks like a structural engineering kind of a thing. I'm a design guy. I think like a designer, how it's gonna look, right? And feel, I should come at it from an angle of like how it's gonna function. <laughs> and that's what I'm having trouble with. There is a lot of moving parts and it seems very simple because it's like duh, this little thing is no it's a lot of moving parts so uh this is actually a refrigerator back here i have everything already picked out i'm just going to be starting this actually next week kind of the construction of it whenever this comes in but really uh these are these are these like one by ones are these tubes right here i guess that's what you have to worry about with 8020 is figuring out what you're going to be using now i'm using a one by one 10 series is also what I guess it's known for. 
So that's your, the other thing is with 8020 is like, there's so many different variations of, you know, one by one, one and a half by one and a half, two by two, you know, then there's one by twos, one by threes, one and a half by, I, there's a whole bunch of different variations. One by ones from what I'm told are plenty. You see how this is like four sides that all are T-slotted, right? Well, then they also make like one side smooth, two sides smooth, three sides smooth. And I mean by smooth by like, there is no T-slot, okay? For example, my framing here, a lot, some of this framing is actually gonna be exposed. So I don't want the T-slot, I don't want the opening shown. So it'll be like three sides that are teed and then one side that is smooth. And you'll see that during the whole building process, but oh my God, is it so annoying. The other thing that is a major factor here that a lot of people overlook is how much this stuff costs. Now it's strong as all heck, think it's any lighter than wood, but for what I'm using it for, it makes sense because this is aluminum and I want it to be sort of all weatherproof. And depending on where you buy it from, it can be a dollar a foot, 80 cents a foot, whatever it is per foot on a one by one, on a 10 series, that adds up, that adds up a lot. So for like an eight footer, I think I found what I'm looking for. I'm gonna get it more in like in a black powder coat, which is what they come in also, so silver or black. And that's just cause of the look I'm going for, that's about it. I found an eight footer of this without the smooth side for like 30 bucks. And I don't think that includes shipping. So you already see that this is only half of my design. This is only half. I have another slider that's coming out over here and then there's another slider over here as well that I have to design and, and kind of figure out mathematically on what I need or how much I need of this. That's not even half of it. <laughs> the other half is figuring out the bracketing to put all this together. That stuff adds up and it's adding up fast. So I'm thinking it's gonna be like maybe $1,500 worth of just this stuff. What? Oh, 80-20. I already bought my refrigerator, draw slides, I've bought two pairs of heavy duty draw slides. I know I can't say draw. 58 inches each because my, my bed cab is I believe 60 inches. Those were $500 total. What? The refrigerator was another, I think 400. The sink, yeah, I'm putting a Dometic sink in here. I think that was $400. Maybe the, maybe the fridge was 500 and the sink was 400. Very, very fortunate that the battery was gifted to me. Uh, by rely on again i still have to buy all this hardware to buy all the fasteners this is this is getting pricey everybody but man it's gonna be the ultimate slide out of all slide outs coming out of an overland jeep pickup whatever you want to call it truck bed slide out when it's all said and done it's gonna look it's gonna look sleek it's gonna look great i'm excited how it's gonna be bolted down i want to make it module so i bought all the l-track today that was another 175 dollars Blech. I'm gonna wrap up this video. It's been enough. It's been fun. It's been great. Yay. Stay tuned this week for a fantastic van tour. Like I've already mentioned, Matt. Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Later.